Hello, selamat siang semuanya. Good afternoon everyone who's watching from Jakarta. So, welcome to the AHAF Indonesia 2021 Institution Talk Show today. So, my name is Chandini Chandanila. You can call me Chandini and I'll be your moderator for this session. So, at this session today, we have three interesting business schools from France who will be joining the talk show. And we have already have three representatives over here. And uh, before we proceed to introduce one by one the representatives that we have for today's session, I would like to remind you that visitors can ask their questions from the chat box on YouTube. And uh, we'll be sharing these questions with the speakers that we have today. So we'll be, have, we'll be able to have That much, as much information as possible. Jangan lupa kalau ada pertanyaan bisa diletakkan di chat box YouTube supaya nanti bisa langsung disampaikan ke narasumber yang ikut serta di hari ini. Alright, so without further ado, let me introduce to you three representatives for today's session. The first one is Miss Joy Kuff, Country Manager, Singapore and Southeast Asia from EDEC Business School. Hi Joy! Hello, everybody. All right. Hello. I hope you're doing well, Joyce. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So, for the second one, we have Min Wu, admin admission manager from Nyoma Business School. Hi, Min. Can Hi, everyone. Me? Yes, perfectly. A pleasure to be here with all of you. Pleasure to meet you, too. All right. And then we'll proceed to the next representative. Ms. Xu Bourgeon, Southeast Asia Area Development Manager from Ren School of Business. Hi, Xu. How are you doing? Fine. Hi, everyone. Nice to be here with you. Okay. So just for your information, so uh, some of our representatives here uh, are actually located in Europe. So I bet it is still early in Europe. It's around 8 a.m., right? Yeah. So thank Very you so fresh. much for joining us. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, Joyce, I mean, it's totally all right with you because you're in Singapore anyway. So <laughs> not that much difference with uh, with Jakarta, <laughs> but I really appreciate Ming and Xu for joining us from France. All right. So um, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give the first opportunity to Joyce. So Joyce, can you tell us a little bit more about EDEC Business School? Yeah, sure. Well, thank you, Chantini, for the very nice introduction for all of us. I really appreciate uh, this time to be speaking to our Indonesian friends who are trying to look for opportunities to study in Europe, in France. So EDEC Business School is actually more than 100 years old. Uh, we have five international campuses uh, in the world. Uh, we actually have about uh, 8,600 uh, students. Uh, on our campuses, about 110 of them nationalities. A third of them get scholarships and 25% are from overseas. Uh, we've already produced more than 50,000 alumni working in global countries, about 65 countries. And uh, so it's a very good program, highly ranked. And so uh, right now, Edit Business School is actually in the top 14 position in France. Uh, we're mostly in our finance, master's in management and marketing degrees are very highly ranked um, by the Financial Times and The Economist in the top 10 rankings. So uh, we also partner with more than 280 major universities in the world, uh, like MIT Sloan, NTU Singapore, London Business School, UCLA and Berkeley. Um, and we have more than 10 double degrees with these universities. So besides that, when your topic about networking opportunities is great because um, we partner with very big global companies in the world, like Amazon, right. Accenture, yes, Bloomberg, mm. the BNP. And so these are the companies that we work with. Yes. All right. Okay, so thank you so much for the initial introduction for, from Edic Business School. We're going to jump further into that after the two schools in, in, for, uh, introducing themselves. So thank you, Joyce. And then for the second opportunity, I'll, uh, I'll hand over uh, to Mint from Neoma Business School. Hi, Mint. 
Hi, from uh, Normandy in Huang, uh, where our main campus is. Uh, we are Neoma Business School located. We have three campuses, but all in France. Uh, in Paris, in Normandy here in Huang, and in the east of Paris called uh, Rams. So actually this year is the 150th anniversary of our school. We are a very old French business school. However, we try to uh, be in innovative and uh, uh, act as the digital leading leader in some uh, new tools we are using. Uh, for example, we also have a 100% virtual campus as the first one in Europe launched uh, last year during the pandemic. So um, as a French business school, we are doing really well in networking, uh, including the company partners, university partners. We also have one in Indonesia, the University of uh, Jada Mata. And also uh, we have a lot of uh, alumni thanks to the long history of the school. They are uh, everywhere to connect you when you study with us, when you graduate. So we have uh, nearly uh, 10,000 students on the campus from everywhere. Uh, almost 30% uh, are international students. We also have big network of um, alumni and uh, professional teachers from the real companies on top of the full-time professors. They bring in a lot of uh, practical expertise and experience from their companies as a proof of the great network. And uh, we are ranked uh, uh, always top 10 in France in the new ranking this year of the economist, uh, the master of management we have is number four in France, number 15 globally. Also in Financial Times, we are always uh, among the top 10. We offer a lot of programs taught in English in the, the one year master or two year master in management, which is also a double degree. Um, in which you can have international exchange to explore your network and also to do a double degree in some other universities. So we, we can introduce you more maybe after and uh, we hope you can consider us and to know more about us. All right, so thank you so much, Min, for introducing Neoma Business School. And just like uh, what I told Joyce earlier, we're gonna dig deeper into that. But before we go into the talk show, we have Rand School of Business over here with Shu. Hi, Shu. Hi, uh, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce Rand School of Business to our Indonesia audience. And also I uh, uh, confirm that in France, there are, there are a lot of excellent business schools as a group, uh, and each of us situated in different cities or, originally, like mm -hmm. us. Uh, we are situated in the capital city of uh, Brittany, which is a mm -hmm. very beautiful region in France with a, a lot of seaside uh, uh, coast. And okay. uh, also uh, we have... Uh, newly opened a uh, campus uh, in Paris and with both uh, beautiful campus, uh, we offer international programs to all the students, not only to international students, also for to French students. It means there is no uh, uh, difference uh, in this campus, uh, whatever you are French or international. So all the programs are open to uh, international students including a bachelor degree with uh, four specializations and uh, one semester abroad or one year exchange as well. And uh, we have 16 uh, different uh, specialties or master of sciences uh, degrees offered to all the students. Uh, in addition to that, we have the traditional master in management and also executive education. Uh, and so on. So we also, uh, our, uh, I, our international aspects is uh, including uh, um, the international faculty, like 95% uh, of the uh, main faculty are international. They are not French. They teach all in English from more than 40 nationalities. And in the students' body, we also have more than 100 nationalities. 
uh, in the campus. So it's really uh, uh, international immersion. So uh, we also uh, provide network of um, companies uh, for the, uh, we help the students to fund internship and um, job offers. Um, yeah, I think I will stop here and uh, like the talk show in the later on, if you want to know more, each of us, we can have a chat, no problem. All right, thank you so much, Shu. All right, so uh, one thing that I noticed, one similarity between the three institutions that we have over here is that you guys, like, you know, if one of your institutions is actually uh, some kind of an internet, it has some kind of international community over there. So whenever an international student enters the, the institution, so they should not be worried about being the only foreign student over there, right? <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so they will be exposed to different nationalities over there during their study. They'll be able to make different connections with different students from across the world. And I bet that would be a very good opportunity for them to actually get to know each other better. So I'm just wondering uh, about, because we previously we talked about uh, different nationalities. We talked about the international community that you guys have at your institution. So I'm just wondering, uh, is there any, because one of the things that international students normally would wonder about when they start to uh, study in an international institution is that, is there any dormitory like on campus dormitory or something, or is there any assistance from your institution on how to help international students to find accommodation, for example? Perhaps we can start with you. Hi, Hu. Ah, sorry. Um, I just missed the word. Uh, yes, in Ren School of Business, we have uh, entire services uh, for uh, to help the international students, especially to find accommodation. And okay. also we have uh, on campus uh, uh, dormitory, uh, like a, a student apartment uh, building. Uh, mm -hmm. And also the entire city, we have all the accommodation possibilities around the school. Knowing that mm. our school is near to the, near the city center, it's around okay. three kilometers, very easily accessible. So uh, we have uh, different uh, accommodation um, solutions, including the uh, uh, student residences, public and the private, uh, as well as sharing apartment, homestay as well. So uh, we have an uh, entire uh, platform, online platform. Once the student get admitted and enrolled, they will have access to this service, have interaction with our team, and uh, finally uh, uh, finalize his accommodation among those choices. All right, okay. So there's this service from the campus that will be, they will be able to help students to find accommodations like around the campus itself, or perhaps a little bit further, if anyone is actually would like to prefer to have an accommodation a little bit further from the campus, right? Yes, exactly. All right. Okay, thank you. So uh, what about Joyce, for example? What about EDEC Business School? Is there any chance for international students to get some kind of assistance like that? Yes, definitely. We have what you call an ISO, which is an International Student Office. So, you know, looking for accommodation, it is not easy yeah, for international mm -hmm. students to rent accommodation in France. So, yeah. uh, so as um, most property um, uh, are directly from the real estate agencies and landlords, so they require a French guarantor. So our ISO, the International Student Office, works uh, in close collaboration uh, with these local uh, housing actors so that uh, they do not need to have a French guarantor in order to secure their accommodation. So we no, have right. different options uh, available. And so they are available in Lille and Nice, including student res residences, uh, studio apartments, we have flat shares, and also dedicated on-campus residents in Lille. All right. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, so students do not have to worry too much about that. So we have people to help them. And uh, mm -hmm. so we also do pick up service for them when they arrive. 
at the train station or at the at the airport, and then we will get mm -hmm. them and welcome and pick them up to bring them to All the right. residence. All right. So even at the business school has some kind of assistance uh, for students to pick them up right from the train station or the nearest airport and then to get them to the accommodation, right? Yes. Okay, this is really nice to have an international student office as well, right? Where yes. students could actually uh, get more information on, uh, what is that, on the social life around campus, for example, how to get to know each other, things like that. That's, that must be a really, really helpful element. So. What about you, Min? About what about a new business school? Is there anything similar like that? Yeah, I think it's pretty similar. We also offer to international students centralized accommodation. There are the uh, residency next to campus or in the city center based on their choice. Uh, it's mainly in Rouen and uh, Reims. In Paris, mm -hmm. we work with those real estate agencies to find uh, uh, rents. Uh, it can be different parts of the city. However, it's a bit more expensive in Paris. Uh, if you wonder the about the cost, it will be uh, to include the rents and the living expenses uh, around 1,000 for sure. But in uh, Rouen or Rams, uh, for rents, it's between four to 500 euros. And the total monthly living expenses can be around uh, 700 euros if you wanna uh, plan your budgeting. And, okay. um, it's worth mentioning that Campus France, they also recognize good service of all uh, French universities or business school. They have this label called, uh, uh, in English, Welcome to France. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we, we all have it. So it's a yeah. great recognition of good service to international students, not just about accommodation, also about the welcome, about the visa preparation, et cetera. So really we take good care of you from the very beginning when you are admitted here, you arrive on campus. All right, okay, so thank you so yeah. much. So more or less, is there, uh, like there, there are actually uh, international student offices at each one yeah. of your campus that will be able to help international yeah. students to familiarize, them, familiarize themselves with the situation over there, uh, regardless which campus they're gonna, they're, they're planning to visit and then uh, they will be able to get some help on the accommodation and then of course about the administrative stuff that they will have to deal with when it comes to you know starting to study uh, in, a, in a foreign country all right so uh, i'm just wondering because we're still talking about uh, we I, I believe each one of your institutions would like to attract more and more international students to actually join your institutions right so I'm just wondering, is there any scholarship scheme that would be accessible for international students, particularly for non-European Union uh, students, for example? What about you, Min? Is there any particular uh, scholarship scheme that you can share with us? Yeah, we do. We have the scholarship from our own school uh, called, uh, we have early bird, which means if you are admitted in our program by end of January and you accept our offer, you definitely get this early bird, uh, 500 or 1000 euros. On top of that, if you are a good candidate with a good profile, uh, we have extra scholarship up to 4000 euros for international students. And uh, we also have the Campus France government scholarship that applies to all the international students. Um, if you apply early uh, this year, the deadline for us to nominate those candidates will be early December. So you need to be firstly admitted by us and then you can apply for this government scholarship. They found uh, uh, over 1,000 euros per month for your living here in France, including uh, international flights, etc. And very luckily last year, we have an Indonesia master student who is now studying with us. She got this scholarship. Um, I'd like to mention one more point that uh, when international students are here, they get uh, a lot of government funding, so financial supports. For example, on accommodation, we didn't mention earlier that the government yeah. can uh, refund them on their rents. Um, around it, it depends where it, the rent is allocated or the size, mm -hmm. but uh, you can expect around maybe twenty percent of what you pay for your accommodation. So that's another mm -hmm. great support. 
Okay. Um, for our scholarship, we just encourage you to apply early. The earlier, the bigger chance you have. <laughs> All right. After this, you're giving me an idea. After this, we're going to talk about the administration uh, admission process because I'm sure many of the audience over here would like to understand a little bit more on how to apply for the schools and then what kind of documents they will have to prepare in advance and the whole timeline that you can share with them. All right, so one thing that was interesting from Min's explanation was that apart from the early bird scholarships, apart from the campus from, uh, scholarships, there's also a government support for accommodations that can reach up to 20% of the accommodation. Is that correct? All yes. Right. Okay. All right, so uh, this is actually really interesting, and I think that's one of the things that international students can uh, can actually consider when it comes to studying in France, because you know many international students might be reluctant to study abroad while they have they may have the potential. They might be a little bit reluctant because they're not sure because you know I have no friends over there, I have no relatives. I'm not sure I will be able to have some like you know sufficient assistance for me to actually conduct my study. But rest assured. A lot of different scholarship schemes are available as, as well as the government support, right? Okay, so uh, we're going to move to uh, Ren School of Business. Hi, Shu. Can you share with us a little bit more about the scholarship schemes that are available for international students? Uh, yes, we do also offer uh, different scholarships to international students. Uh, so we have talent scholarship, which is encourage the uh, high profile, uh, excellent academic background uh, to uh, uh, compete to get this scholarship. We also have a framed scholarship, uh, which encourage uh, the uniqueness of the profile or different uh, this uniqueness uh, to the different international uh, communities. And also we have the uh, uh, Solidarity uh, Fund uh, Scholarship, which may apply to one nationality students. Like if this, uh, uh, this year they suffer from the uh, economic crisis or uh, exchange rate, uh, uh, deflation or inflation, and then they can apply to uh, uh, this scholarship. And each amount could be uh, from 1,000 euro to 5,000 euros. Uh, and in addition to that, we have a, a welcoming uh, to France scholarship, which is uh, uh, a cooperation with uh, Alliance Francaise or other uh, French institu uh, language institutions, the students, they can be uh, a kind of refunded their French mm -hmm. courses if they want to take some French lessons uh, before coming, join our school, which is um, uh, around 500 euro as well. All right. So uh, as you mentioned, there's talent scholarship, for example. Yeah. That is, that is very interesting to explore. So I'm just interested in uh, exploring a little bit more about this talent scholarship. What is it that uh, the students have to be able to prove in order to be able to get this talent scholarship, for example? Um, we based on the students, uh, for example, university rank, home university ranking, mm -hmm. and also the ranking on the class, class and also the, the GPA. Uh, mm -hmm. And also the motivation part, uh, okay. which is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, extra uh, curriculum and so on. Mm -hmm. All and right. also, of course, the language uh, score is also taken into consideration. Okay. All right. So there are a lot of elements that can be considered to get yeah. this talent scholarship, for example, the origins university, like the origins of the university, like the mm -hmm. home university ranking, and then their grades as well during the study, and then their GPA, for example, and then their motivation as well, right? Yeah. Uh, I just want to add uh, that uh, for our double degree students from our partner universities in Indonesia, they can benefit mm -hmm. automatically uh, at least 1,000 euro of uh, reduction uh, as okay. encouraging the uh, partner university students to apply. Okay. All right. So there is a 1,000 euros of reduction, right? For yeah. the For the tuition? 
for the tuition, yes. Yeah, all right. So for the tuition program, there's uh, for, for the tuition fee, there's the 1,000 reduction, right? For 1,000 euros of reduction. Okay, so this is a really interesting one. So I just want to remind the audience that you can always throw your questions, put your questions, any questions would be answered by our speakers today. Don't forget to put your questions on the chat box on YouTube, and we will be addressing these questions to the speakers right uh, shortly. And then, so how about you, Joyce? Is there anything that you can hear from Edic Business School, for example, when it comes to so, scholarship programs? Yes, thank you so much. Um, for MBA, um, we have recently received uh, information about that scholarships is up to 50% because this is considered our excellence um, um, uh, scholarship, but mm -hmm. there's a but because as long as they get a GMAT score of 710 and above, they will have this special scholarship from MBA. Uh, for those who are looking into MBAs, we also have the 40% uh, premium with a GMAT score of 650 to 700, and 30% for women in leadership because we want to have more women to join uh, MBAs. Uh, this mm -hmm. is to encourage and support gender parity in the classroom or in the boardroom. Yeah? So this is for masters, mm. it, for MBA. Now, if you're looking at master's degrees, we are also looking at uh, women in finance and data sciences. We want to encourage more women in finance and doing uh, data, uh, data technology. There will be a 35% reduction on tuition fees. Yeah. Uh, okay. This, yes. So for excellence will be 30%. Mm -hmm. Making an impact is 25. Distinction will be 20 and the foundation will be 15%. Okay. Uh, I agree with the Shu and Ning because it's all about doing very well on your GPA or on your GRE or your GMAT and also to be an early bird, be an early applicant because you're fighting with so many different applicants from the world to come into our school. So do these very well and then they can able to uh, uh, get an opportunity to get scholarships with us. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, so there are many different reductions, for example, for the MBA. And then you would like to encourage more participation from women for in the field of data science, for example. That's a really interesting one because I think these days one of the things that, uh, what is that? One of the highly, uh, highly sold one is actually data science. Because today we cannot live without data. And I think it's a really good initiative to be able to bring more women, especially for the data science as well. All right, so I'm just wondering, uh, because we already talked about the accommodation, we already talked about the scholarship, and then uh, one of the things that uh, international students perhaps would like to get a little bit uh, a better idea on would be the admission process. So perhaps we can start from Joyce. Is there any information where students can find the information, like further information on how to start their application process and what about the timeline, like how long they should be waiting for, to get the results or something? So please, Joyce, can you explain a little bit more on the administration process at uh, Edit Business School? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. So basically for the application process for the masters at EDEC, there are different deadlines, yeah? So the deadline to, uh, to uh, apply is on a rolling basis, starting from the 1st October, 2021 and close 30th of June. Uh, so we would like, uh, you know, everyone to apply online. So if you go online at the master.edec.edu, if you are legible, you will receive an invitation to complete an online interview. Yeah, and of course, uh, admissions results will be two to three weeks uh, from completion of your online application. But what I need to uh, highlight is that there, there are different uh, admission requirements that we need from students. Yeah? Uh, we, of course, you we need a, a very good three-year bachelor's degree, which is minimum. Uh, a very good CV in English, motivation letter in English, um, academic transcripts and degrees in English, 
and also very good um, English test results. So if you're looking for IELTS will be 6.5 uh, or the TOEFL will be 92 and above. Strong GMAT or GRE, uh, two recommendation letters. And if they have any good awards, previous scholarship, certificate or achievements, this is also what we, we are looking for. All right. So, uh, from what you explained earlier, first of all, at least three years of bachelor's degree would be required to proceed mm -hmm. to the master's program, and then motivation letter, and then transcript in English, for example, and then the diploma, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, for the English proficiency test, you allow IELTS or uh, IBT to full, right? Yes. Okay, for IELTS. The, requ uh, pre the requirement would be 6.5 for IELTS. And then and above, yes. the IBT, yes, uh, 6.5 and above. And then for IBT school, that would be 92 and above, right? Yes. Okay. G GMAT and GRE as well. And then as well as two recommendation letters. So I'm just wondering about these recommendation letters. Should that be uh, specifically for uh, professional recommendation or academic recommendation? You can have either both. All right. Okay. So there's no strict requirement whether it should be academic one or a professional one. So students, mm. like prospective students, can choose either way, right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. And then you mentioned that uh, the admission, admission process would be on a rolling basis starting from the 1st of October up to the 13th of June of the following year, right? Yes, that's right. All right. Okay, so the timeline is more or less like that for each year, right? So yes. uh, it's right now, okay, for 2021, so the admission process has been open right now, it starting is. from this uh, 1st of October 2029. And I just want to remind you, if, if you would like to, uh, to submit your application for Edic Business School, there, you guys will be waiting until 30th of June, 2022, right? That's right. All right. And then all the applications would be online. So there will be no need for international students for, you know, sending out documents by post, right? By postal service. No, better to be uh, online. Yes. All right. That is a really good one because, you know, it means that the application can be accessible from any part of the world, right? Oh, okay, so okay, so thank you so much, uh, Joyce, for explaining about the admission process uh, at EDEC Business School. And then, to, how about Neoma Business School, Min? Can you share yeah, a, little, a little bit yeah, more? Yeah, sure, okay, sure. It's a little bit similar. Now, I believe every school opens the uh, application fully online. It's the same with us. If you just Google apply Neoma, you find a platform where you can submit your application. We also allow that you apply for, let's say, two programs at the same time if you have uh, like uh, interest in several. And uh, on, uh, in addition to what uh, Joyce has mentioned, we also need a, a motivation statement. Um, by answering some questions we have already set in the system. It's about uh, why you choose France or Neoma or this particular program. You have to show some uh, potential or your personality or how to combine this choice with your future career. So we can be sure this is a good match for you. And uh, in related to English score, we need uh, equivalent to uh, L6.0. Uh, for the particular master in management in two years, uh, you need to have uh, 6.5. That means at least 6.0 in each sector of L. And if you wonder which kind of master is uh, more appropriate for you, uh, we have mentioned earlier, we have one year Master of Science, two year Master in Management. So if you have a three year bachelor, uh, very likely you go to the two year master. Um, if you have a four year bachelor, you can go directly to our one year uh, Master of Science. So we, we will um, suggest you which one is better for you um, and to make sure you're eligible. So this is for your choice of programs. And about the application duration, it's already open now uh, for because our Master of Science 
programs, they start in October. So you can apply to your next uh, uh, mid July. And for other bachelors and the two year master in management, they start in September. So you can submit uh, your application to the end of June, which is pretty similar. All right, okay. So in terms of the timeline, for example, for Master of Science, it starts in October. So it, means yeah. it has already been open right now and will be opened up to mid July next year, yeah, right? Exactly. Okay, for the Masters of Management, it has been open since September this year and will be the end of June in 2022. Yeah. All right. Okay, all right. And the interesting part is that um, earlier, that uh, if the prospective students already have three years of bachelor's program, they can apply for the master's management, which is gonna last for two years, right? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Study. And then the four years for a bachelor's program for those who have, who have already obtained, uh, who have already been through four years of bachelor's program, they would they can apply for uh, the MSc program. Yeah, exactly. Which is gonna be for one year. Yeah, all right. Yeah. And then. Perhaps uh, it was a really uh, it was really nice of you to remind uh, prospective students that they will have to be able to elaborate why they would like to study in France, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. Why they are choosing Neoma in particular, and then why they are choosing either, for example, MSc or Master of Management. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. they think this program would be able to help them to advance in their career, or mm -hmm. in anything they would like to pursue in the future, for example. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And then something that I also noted uh, from your explanation is that for a Neoma Business School, any prospective student can apply uh, for uh, even for two different programs at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I we okay. we noticed some of them they have doubts and they, they really can't decide between two. We try to clarify the difference or to guide them uh, through the application, but sometimes they still prefer trying several so it's possible they can do that till they receive the offers of both maybe then they choose one offer to take so it is possible mm -hmm. and one more thing we uh gmat and the gre is not a must for us to apply uh, but if you have it uh, we appreciate that and it can even increase your chance to get the scholarship and uh, one more word about our interviews uh, for most programs like MSc or bachelor's, it's on a rolling basis. Uh, you, you have the interview, you can even have it the same day when you submit your application because it's a pre-recorded video format. Mm -hmm. You answer some questions in front of your camera. Uh, but for the mastering management, it's a Zoom or Skype interview with a professor. So you, you need to anticipate some time after your submission before you have the spot for your interview so yeah that's just the small difference all right all right so it's interesting for the msc program uh, students prospective students i mean they can have pre-recorded videos right yeah but they for the masters of management, mm -hmm. yes but for the masters of management they will be having a live interview session through skype yeah. with the professors right yeah Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Min, for explaining about the admission process at Neuma Business School. And then we have Shu over here. Hi, Shu. Can you explain a little bit more about the admission Hi. process for international students at the Ren School of Business? Sure. For uh, Ren School of Business, uh, firstly, I would like to thank uh, to Joyce and Min have uh, explained a lot of similarities between the uh, admission mm -hmm. process. And I will not repeat the, the things that which are common for all of us, like uh, online application, fully online, including the video uh, reg registration where the applicant can choose any time uh, and any hour to do uh, complete it fully online. Uh, and uh, for the English uh, requirement, we do accept as well uh, IELTS 6.0 for admission, uh, equivalent to also um, TOEIC uh, 750, uh, and also uh, TOEFL uh, 80 as, as the minimum score. 
and uh, we do have um, uh, for the master in management two year program admission we do have uh, um, aptitude test uh, which is in turn um, by uh, fully online as well run SB uh, business and management aptitude test which mm -hmm. may replace uh, uh, GMAT or JRE and this is a uh, a point uh, very um, convenient for the applicants. And also we are in a rolling system. So uh, we started uh, 1st October, the next session. Um, we, I want to mention we have two intakes for mm -hmm. the master programs. Uh, MIC programs have two intakes. One is in January. It's a deadline is uh, uh, 20th of November for the eight MIC programs opened in January intake. We mm -hmm. also have um, uh, all the other programs uh, in um, um, September intake. And uh, also we uh, have uh, each program adapted to different level, academic level, like mm -hmm. uh, high school graduates, they can mm -hmm. apply to our three-year uh, fully taught English taught uh, bachelor program in management. And they can okay. also get admission to the second year and the third year if they already uh, acquired some uh, uh, business credits in another mm -hmm. institution like a higher diploma uh, um, and also some uh, credits in uh, other schools studied one year or two, they can enter different level. We have entry each year. And also for the bachelor graduates, they can apply either to our master in management, which is two year, or also MIC. Uh, the difference of our MIC programs, they are one year and a half. And okay. it's very intensive because they get uh, equivalent two years credits, like uh, they have uh, um, uh, as total 120 standard European uh, credits, ECTS, yes. which is the equivalent to uh, two year studies. All right. Okay. So I noticed that you mentioned there are two intakes for Rennes School of Business. The first one is January. The January intake, uh, the deadline would be 20th of November of the previous year, right? Yes. And then as for the September intake, I'm wondering, what, what is exactly the deadline for those who, are, who would like to start in September? Um, for the students who need a, a visa, I, we suggest end of June, like uh, Joyce mentioned, 30th of June for right. them to have enough time to get the visa. For those who are already in Europe, we can allow them to uh, apply until 20th July. All right. Okay. All right. So for international students, particularly for those who reside outside Europe, uh, if they would like to start for the September intake, they would be encouraged to submit their application uh, at least until the end of June, right? Yes. All right. Sorry. So uh, I think we have entered the final part of the session, which is the closing session. I would like to give an opportunity for each one of you to give a closing statement. Uh, and and uh, I would just start from Shu, for example. Can you give us some closing statement from the Ren School of Business, please? Yes, sure. So uh, after this session, uh, I mean, uh, uh, all of us have uh, introduced a lot of uh, detailed elements uh, about our school and uh, uh, the admission, uh, the uh, the uh, advantage to be an uh, international student in a French business school, as well as some program uh, details. So maybe what what we have not mentioned is about the um, uh, career development, what we can do for the international students. So just a few seconds to e explain that as all of the business schools, we have uh, uh, a strong alumni network. Mm -hmm. uh, Run is relatively a uh, young school, have a uh, 30 years anniversary this year. And, okay. But we, we already have a very uh, powerful uh, uh, alumni network uh, with more than 30,000 members. 
and mm -hmm. uh, they are uh, the proportion of this alumni. Uh, I mean, international alumni is very high. Like we have uh, half of our students, more than 55 percent uh, students are international. So we have a strong international network. Um, all over the world. And uh, what we do to prepare the uh, students from the integration week, we already talk about, give some uh, 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 career coaching session to all of them, to let them to have the, uh, you know, initiative to prepare their professional CV and uh, to give them uh, gradually and uh, all over their training, uh, the workshops, for the career and for how to find the internship, the mock interview and the personal coaching, and also invite a lot of, um, uh, how to say, uh, HR director, marketing director to give them some insights about the position, the function and how it works and so on. In Indonesia, we have a, a, a established a cooperation with Michael Page executives mm -hmm. and uh, this agreement, this cooperation uh, will help the Indonesian students to prepare, to be prepared to uh, enter into international groups, either uh, in uh, Indonesia or uh, to the elements they need to know to work in uh, European or international companies. All right. Something All like right. that. So, Red so School much, of Steve. Business uh, welcome you to uh, apply and to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Xu. And then, Min, can you give us your closing statement from New Newa Business School, please? Yeah, uh, I like to summarize like three aspects that uh, Neoma is doing pretty well compared to others or to differentiate us from others. We are we have really strong network uh, mentioned earlier that includes alumni network, academic partner or corporate partner. For example, in our master in management, we have fifteen uh, overseas universities that allow allows you to do a double degree uh, in. Some of our masters, we have corporate partners such as Prada in our luxury management or KPMG in the uh, entrepreneurship and innovation MSc program. So you can really benefit a lot with the close links with the real companies. And then we are really strong in entrepreneurship. We have incubator, one on each campus. They uh, help you to develop your business projects to launch your own business. Um, actually, the number of NEOMA graduates who, who become entrepreneur uh, is ranked number two among all French business schools. And also, we have an exchange program uh, focused on entrepreneurship called uh, Entrepreneur Across Borders, in which you can even go to UC Berkeley in the Silicon Valley to uh, learn from their uh, incubator, not just to take some courses. So this is another strong point. And then we'd like to mention about the uh, comprehensive student service, uh, including career service, of course. Similarly, we have the dedicated uh, career uh, service team. They provide you individual consulting uh, or organize a lot of workshops. Uh, through the year, they have over 100 workshops or job fairs for you to find internship or full-time jobs after you graduate. And also um, we have an internal website. Each year we post uh, uh, altogether over 90,000 job positions or internship positions to our students. You will have a lot of support in this uh, perspective if you wanna stay here in France or go to another country for a job. So these are some of the strong points we have. Um, if that uh, meets your expectation and also you can find the interested programs that we offer, welcome to visit our booths or con contact me after. We will be really happy to hear from you or seeing your applications. Thanks. All right. Thank you so much, Min. And then we proceed to last but not least, Joyce. Please, Joyce, any closing statement from your end? Yes, I think this is cool. Welcome students to come and join us because our career centers in um, France is actually ranked number one in France. 
uh, we host about 120 on and off campus um, uh, for, for uh, career events for our students, meeting all these companies that we work closely with. Um, and uh, to, just to let you know that uh, very closely, we have the quality of the placements, which is actually indeed demonstrated by uh, several features, such as the international scope of positions with the graduates starting in their career in 51 countries. And as many as 63% of them of international graduates, uh, they work outside their home country. And 66% find a job within a month uh, of leaving okay. the school. So it's very high satisfaction rate. 98% uh, uh, start the career in line with their objectives uh, of their career. 90% state that they're very satisfied uh, with their first positions. So you can see that um, they are also applying their expertise um, to the diversified um, sectors and functions, mostly in finance, consulting, business development, marketing. And now in lots of areas of IoT, which is the Internet of Things, data mm -hmm. analytics and technology. Uh, like the other two uh, French schools with Ming and Shu, uh, we also have incubators. We have three incubators or what you call entrepreneurship programs very strongly in, in our school uh, culture because we, we started with entrepreneurship. We nurture students into making their products and services. So we have professors, we have experts, uh, startup professionals, and venture capitalists who will help and mentor and guide students to pitch and, of course, look for funding for their projects. Huh? So I want to say that because the career centers work closely with all these incubators, we work closely with companies, we also work very closely with alumni, we have also 30 coaches right now in, in our school, expert ones. They guide uh, students for careers. They help with CV, interview techniques uh, to help students to be very edgy in their recruitment process. Mm. So I want to tell you that I'm also a career coach based in Singapore. And uh, besides this, I will also guide students uh, for the Asian market and career prospects linking them back to alumni and the companies locally. So I want to encourage um, our, our Indonesian friends to please come and join us at our booth uh, at EDEC, at uh, RENS, and also at Myoma to find out more about the French schools because we're here to uh, welcome you into EU. Thank you All very right. much. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Min. And thank you, Stu, for sharing lots of information about your respective institutions. So for those of you who are watching this, don't forget to go to the virtual booth that we have provided at virtual.ehav.id where you can get more information on the respective institutions and have a little bit chat about the with the representatives. All right, so thank you so much for our speakers today and thank you so much for the audience. We will see you again at the next opportunity. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.